Hey guys, in this video, we are going to learn something new around the checkboxes. In UiPath App Studio, the checkboxes can be configured in different ways. On my screen, you see there is a checkboxes I have created where it's asking which are the operating system do I know. Now, let's say I'm going to select Windows, I'm going to select Linux and I'm going to select Windows Server. Now, if I click on show, it is showing me all the checkboxes that I have checked and for rest of it, it is showing false. Now, how this can be designed? In this video, we are going to learn. So, it is in depth getting into the checkbox uh, control and learning the properties and how to utilize them. In detail, we are going to see in this video. So, without making any further delay, let's get started. So, I am on a blank page. The very first thing I am going to do, click on this inverted triangle, click on page and I am going to select this form A where I can see some checkboxes are there. I want to use a pre-made template so it becomes quite easy. So I have added a page. Let me name it to something. Let's say page 1. Let me go to the main page which is currently blank. Here in this main page, let us add a container called page container. Now in this page container has a property here. So the page that we have just added page one, which is, you know, appearing like that. But again, my main page is completely blank. So here I have kept a page container and I'm going to refer to that page. So you can see the, now the main page is showing the page one, which was actually designed. So here in the main page, I can see the entire page. So this is quite simple. Now, once this is done, it has got certain template. Let's say you do not need certain things. Let's say I do not need this one, the radio buttons, or I do not need certain things. All you have to do, let's say I'm going to highlight this, okay? So if I'm in the page container and trying to highlight, see, it doesn't work. All I have to do, go to the required page and then highlight. Let's say I don't need the uh, top one, okay? This one I don't need. So select this and it will say it is under the section A so I am going to delete the entire section. So that way what would happen you can modify as you need. So now you can see the checkboxes has come on top of that there was something which is not there. Look at it. So now on the preview window you can see this is how it is appearing. Okay. So based on your requirement you can remove it rather than designing everything from the beginning you can already take a template and make a bit of modifications. Now here we are truly focused on the checkboxes. Okay. Um, so how this checkboxes work, let me show you. Here, first of all, you can see it is a container and container containing all the checkboxes. So let me delete this. Okay, gone. Now uh, let's make some modifications to this. Here I will say choose the operating systems okay i have written something and here i am going to put a message saying select the operating systems that you have worked on earlier okay any message that you like so i put a message like this and this one let me drag and drop a container Okay, so the container has come. Now in the style, I'll make it to horizontal so that everything I'm going to add, it'll come in the horizontal way. Inside this, let me add few checkboxes, which is nothing but an input control, right? We are providing inputs a checkbox. Now let me copy this, control C, control V. I'll do it some three to four times. Okay, so five times I've done. Now to edit this, let me put uh, something like let's say Windows operating system Windows and then I'm going to say uh, Linux then I'm going to say uh, let's say the third one I'm going to say Windows server and then I'm going to say um, Android and the last one let's say I'm going to say other Okay, so I've designed it. Now what we will do, this checkboxes are uh, having some properties. Okay, I'm going to show you some of the properties 
For example, let me select one of the checkbox. I want this checkbox to be by default selected. Sometimes you might need, right? Automatically, it should be selected by default. So here, check the default. If I make it true, this is one of the property that you can work with. The moment I make it true, what would happen if I click on preview? By default, out of this five, this one will remain checked. You can see this is by default, it is checked. Let's say you don't need it, put it as false. Okay. Now we will do some, um, you know, we are going to create few variables which are going to store. Let's say I'm going to select windows. The value should get stored in the variable, some variable. If I'm going to select Linux, then it should store in some other variable. If I select windows server, it should store in some other variable. Let's say somebody selecting all the five options, then it should select in store in five different variables, isn't it? For that, what we will do, we'll first select the first checkbox, okay? And then um, here, there is something called value binding. Do you see in the under general, there is something called value binding. Click here, scroll down and there is something called a variable. So click, click on the plus sign and keep creating as many you need, okay? Like that you can keep on creating, click on the plus sign. So here I have created few. Let me first assign the a variable to windows. So I'm just going to select and double click. So you can see A is done. Let me go to Linux. And in the Linux, I'm going to select the B variable. The same thing, I'm going to do it for the third one. Let me select the variable C. And for the fourth one, let me select, just click on it, it is going to come, okay? D. And for the fifth one, let me select E. Okay, I hope I have selected properly. A, B, okay, C, then D, and then for the third, last one, E. Okay, so all the variables that I have selected properly. Now, during runtime, if somebody selects Windows or Linux or Windows Server, or all of them, it should carry those values to those variables. So let's see that if it is working or not. Now, for this, click on one of the checkbox and go to events and create a rule value changed that means if somebody clicks on it the value will change the value changed of this checkbox then i want a set value activity to be used and here i want uh, the value um, uh, you know to be something so here for this one we have used the a so i'm going to select a and i want that value to be to become windows so I'm assigning a value rather than it showing you true or false. By default, it will have a value called true or false because you have done a value binding. So if somebody is checking, it will become true. If nobody is checking it, it will remain false. So the value of A will become remain false. But here what I'm doing, here I'm assigning some text value, windows. So windows will get assigned if somebody is checking on it. If the value changes. By default, it will remain false. If the value changes, then it will assign windows. Getting it? The same thing. I'm going to repeat it for rest of it. Create rule, set value, and uh, here the variable is B, and I'm going to say Linux, close. Third one, create rule, set value, select the variable C, and here I will set it as Windows Server, close, Android, create rule set value I think this is D right D and I'm going to say Android close okay this is how you you just have to repeat it and here the variable is E and I'm going to say others no need to put double quotes nothing okay simple so now what I have done I have given the values given the values now to see those values, when somebody is clicking on it, what would happen? Uh, the value of variable A will be set to Windows. If somebody selects on this, the value of variable B will be set to Linux because I am using a set value. Here I am using a uh, set value. So let me select this edit rule and here I am saying Linux. So B variable will become Linux. Getting it? Now I want to see them. So for that, let me add a small button. This is not required. This is just for test experiment purpose. This button is not really required. So I'm going to say show. 
and I'm going to create a small event go to the event create rule and I'm going to use show message so I want to show the variable put a equals to symbol okay here many people will make mistake put a equal to symbol and click and and I don't need this default message so let me remove it same way let me repeat I think it would have been better if a copy paste option was there even for this one uh, not if I put a message box okay same thing you have to repeat show message and I'm going to say equals to and then I want to show the B variable sometimes it gets stuck okay B and then I'm going to remove this done same thing let's repeat show message and I want to show here the third variable which is nothing but your C and then remove this message not required let's do it for D so copy paste option would happen better let me know if you find it or you can submit a feedback and let it be D delete D only right A B C D huh, correct then let's put a message box and say equals to and select the last one E ah, tired <laughs> and then I am going to remove the message box okay done so everything is set now let me show you how it works if I click on preview so you understood the logic if somebody is selecting it it is going to set a value to the variable for example I will show you one by one and I am also going to show you there is a problem <laughs> okay so here I am going to hit on windows if I click on if I click on this button show it is showing windows has been selected rest is false okay because here we have configured right to configured multiple message boxes so rest of it is saying false let's say I'm going to select Android so Windows and Android Windows and Android the values are coming rest is saying false here I'm selecting Linux and it on show so the values are carrying all I want to say the variable is carrying the values okay of the checkbox you select Windows server is coming I'm going to select uh, let's say others it's coming now what is the problem so you can see all the variables are carrying the problem here I found in this kind of a scenario if I'm going to uncheck the Linux see the uncheck for some reason is not working so I have submitted a feedback uh, this could be some kind of a bug you can see the uncheck when I'm using a value binding that is where this is happening this uncheck option is not working. what if I want to uncheck it okay by so that is something is not functioning at the moment so even you can submit a feedback using the send feedback button here click on this and write your feedback okay so I have submitted a feedback hopefully there could be some kind of a mistake uh, the way um, you know uh, the value binding works or, or some kind of correction is required to the design so thank you guys for watching it I hope you have understood how things do work in a checkbox on UiPath App Studio. We are going to meet once again in our next content. Till then, take care. Bye bye. Wait, wait. I have a question. What if I ask you instead of the logic I went through, having a set value activity and doing all that, can you think of a different logic? For example, uh, in this one, right, instead of having uh, the set value activities, right, what if only using the value binding? without going for an event and having this set value only with the value binding can you do it yes it can be done for example uh, here I have the for this property I have the value binding a so this a value if somebody checks it it becomes true now anywhere in my process or in my logic uh, right I can use if a is equal to true that means the user has selected windows if B is equal to true, then user has selected Linux, right? Even that kind of a logic can be built. Now, if you have any smarter idea, please do comment in the comment section and let me know. Thank you guys. We are going to meet in our next content. Bye-bye.